Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to divide these given polynomial by using this long division. And here I have nicely set these polynomials up for division, for long division. And as you can see that this part is called dividend and this is right up here. As you can see this one and this outside this polynomial is called divisor so this showed up right up here so let's get started with our long division this is the way we're going to start first i want you to look at the leading term over here inside this dividend part i want you to write down 2x power 5 divided by this divisor the very first term is x power Two, and if we simplify we're gonna get 2x power 3 and in our next term whatever we got 2x power 3 this is going to go on the top right up here and in the next step we are going to multiply this this part with all these three terms of the divisor so this is going to when you divide you multiply this 2x power 3 times this become 2x power 5 minus 2x power 4 minus 3 times 2 is 6x power 3. next thing is whatever you got this one this is a positive 2 we're going to change the sign so this positive become negative this negative sign become positive this negative become positive as well always change the sign so this is what is going to happen this cancels out so we ended up with negative 1x power 4 and that is going to give us plus 5 plus 6 is 11x power three and now as far as these unused terms are concerned you just bring them down over here so this is negative three x square plus seven x minus nine and in the next step we are going to look at this leading term over here which is negative x power four i am going to write down negative x power 4 dividing it by the leading term on this divisor which is x power 2 we simplified we're going to get negative x power 2 and now whatever this term we got we are going to put down on the top once again so this is negative x power Two. so we're going to repeat the same process this time i'm going to multiply this term with all these uh, the term of the divisor and when we multiply so this is going to become negative x power 4 and negative x squared times this is going to become positive x power 3 and this become positive 3x square now let's go ahead and once again we're going to change the signs so since this is a negative negative become positive sign this positive become negative and this positive become negative this once again this reduces to zero and this simply is going to become 10x power 3 and this become negative 6x square and once again we're gonna bring down these two unused term over here 7x minus 9 now let's repeat this process again let's look at this the leading term right up here which is 10x power 3 divided by the leading term over here in the divisor which is x power 2 if we simplify 
we are going to get 10x and now this 10x term I am going to write down on the top this 10x is same as positive 10x and now once again I am going to multiply this 10x with all these three terms of the divisor once you multiply them that is going to give us 10x power 3 minus 10x square and then minus 30x let's simplify this one so once again we change the sign this is positive 10 positive 10x power 3 become negative this negative become positive and this become positive once again this is gone so we ended up with uh, 4x power 2 plus 37x and once again this 9 bring it down right up here and finally let's look at this part 4x square I'm going to write down over here 4x square divided by the leading term over here is x square and if you simplify it we are going to get 4 and finally this 4 positive 4 I am going to write down right here 4 is same as positive 4 and now this time positive 4 we are going to multiply once again with all these three terms of the divisor so let's multiply it out that's gonna give us 4x power 2 and this is negative 4x and finally minus 12 all right so that is pretty much we are done now let's change the sign this positive 4 become negative change the sign this negative 4 become positive sign and this negative become positive this is gone so we ended up with 37 plus 4 is 41 X and then plus 3 and this part is our remainder and thus this is our answer in this box where you can see this part is quotient the top part the remainder the one that we figured out at the bottom and this the bottom number this polynomial is our divisor and that's our answer and here is your assignment can you do the very same problem using the synthetic division you can take your time you can pause the video luckily i have already uploaded this video as well please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye